When the magma accumulates under the Schwarzenegger volcanic system in the Reykjanes Peninsula of Iceland, it rises the land. And we can measure this land rise by measuring the distance between the sensors we put on the ground and the satellites which are orbiting around the Earth in a geostationary positions. So practically we can measure this through tr triangulation. And what we find is that the amount of the land rise before every eruption has steadily increased. And we can see that also it takes longer time for the magma to accumulate than erupt. Each time is getting longer. This is the spreading of the, of course, the mid-Atlantic reach in the Iceland, which is uh, extending and through the cracks is created to the extension. We will have the magma able to rise and erupt as lava. This is the rising of the magma which creates this uh, uplift. And when there is not uh, a passage for it, or it's very narrow for the uh, magma to pass, the pressure is built up. And the Schwarzenegger volcanic system, which we think is responsible for this, has around 20 million cubic meters of the volume for that. It is now past that threshold, 60 megatons density of the basalt is three. Uh, basaltic magma is three. So multiplied by 20, you will get 60 million megatons. But we don't see that eruption. If it not, doesn't erupt any moment now, it may be a reason to conclude that the magma source is coming from a bigger reservoir which has more than the 20 million cubic meters of magma uh, capacity. And we know that by the analysis of the basaltic uh, uh, the lava from these eruptions in the Schwarzenegger that we are seeing two patterns, two groupings. And the one that erupted in the June and May 2024 are actually similar to what happened in the Fegedesville. They're coming from a deeper source, 12 to 15 kilometers down in the earth ground. Every time these uh, eruptions happens, we need earthquakes to actually soften up this, make it fluid, and make it able to flow. Earthquakes do this for us, like a catch-up when we sh shake it. So these earthquakes are able actually to make it fluid. We are not seeing that amount of the uh, earthquakes still. And every time, with every eruption, the amount of the earthquakes from the initiation to the end takes longer. We don't have that amount of earthquakes. And at the same time, this is, for example, from Fekodesville, nothing compared what we saw here in the sourcing so far. The latest IMO update shows that we have reached that threshold from the, for the previous eruptions, which was 20 million cubic meters. We'll add to that uh, IMO update that if it doesn't erupt any moment soon, it may mean that the source of the magma is deeper, is not a Swartzengi reservoir, is the deeper source, which is uh, sitting on the top of the mantle, closer to the uh, base of the uh, earth's crust. Uh, of course, IMO has published also the hazard map. You can see that we expect eruption within the green debacle, so at least flow of the magma, which will be less uh, dramatic, but more dangerous because we will not notice it easier. And what I'm telling to you now is that as the magma is a non neutronian fluid, we need more earthquakes to make this uh, non neutronian fluid to actually be able to flow and reach the surface. We need bigger pressure. The pressure is not enough, although it is very extreme for the Schwarzenegger.